You remember that to-do list from the first vlog? Yeah, we gotta start knocking some stuff off of that. So like I mentioned back in vlog number one, one of the most important things I do right off the bat is the labels. When I had my meeting with the health department, they gave me the contact information for the health department lady. It's just one lady that does it for the city. Uh, she's part of the health department. So I reached out to her, got all the info that I need and asked her a whole bunch of questions. But really before I can do any of that, I have to go get supplies to make this stuff. I haven't even got anything or cooked anything in the commissary kitchen yet because I don't have the supplies. So I gotta go to, well I'm gonna go to the business Costco. It's supposed to be a little different than the regular Costco because I don't know, I guess they have more stuff. Um, I'm a Costco member so it's free for members. I'm gonna roll down there and see what they got to offer. Um, and the way I'm thinking I'm gonna keep all this organized is continuing with the to-do lists. I like to write everything down, that's just how I stay organized. So I'm gonna make little sub-lists, like the labels. I'm gonna write everything I need to do for the labels down on like its own to-do list and then take the supplies and put down everything that I need for the supplies. So that's all on one list as well. Uh, that should keep me organized. Um, here comes security, we'll see what security has to say. Hey, how you doing? Good. I'm sorry? Security told me I gotta leave, so gotta get out of here. Security pulled up and said I cannot film there without management's written approval, which obviously I don't have. So, packed up and I've left and I'm now on my way to the business Costco. Um, but I want to take this moment to talk about the labels because I feel like that is really the top priority simply because of how long it's going to take to do all that. Um, the first label for the original banana bread, that's going to be our flagship product. I have that idea in my mind of kind of what I want. So I'm going to sketch something out. I'm by no means an artist, so I'll do my best to sketch out kind of what I have in my mind and then email that over to the graphic design artist and hopefully she can turn my thoughts into a reality, which might be easier said than done. This is my rough draft idea. Going to have the logo up in here in a white background circled with a purple ring. And then it's going to go down to this thing, which I'm not really sure what it is, but it looks kind of cool, I guess. Uh, the little circles here will be purple. And all the purple is the same color as the purple text that's in the logo. And the yellow, like this yellow stripe that will run around here, will be the same color as the bananas in the logo. Uh, this will be the name of the product. I don't know if I want to put this in quotes or not. I guess I'll decide that later, but this will be the name of the product and each additional product will be named up here and then like it's sub name here. So this is like the original banana bread. And then that's, that's the one with chocolate chips because that's the original. Um, and then the plain banana bread would just say like the plain banana bread. And then as we get into pumpkin breads or whatever it will say like the pump or the Thanksgiving or whatever its name is pumpkin bread um, something like that and then this box here will be where all the ingredients and other information that is required by law will be in here along with net weight down here uh, that will be bordered with like a black border and then, since I am really big into chess, I am going to have little chess pieces up here. Hopefully it's uh, very subtle. It doesn't really distract from too much else. But hopefully it'll look kind of cool. 
and then blend in with everything and I think it's I think it's simple enough but also fun enough with these round little circle things and the little chess pieces. So that is my initial idea. We're gonna send this over to the graphic artist and see what comes back. This label will be the basis moving forward. Every other label should kind of look like this one and have the same or similar color scheme because obviously I want everything to be seamless across the board. The supplies are probably just as important as the labels because, well, you can't really cook anything unless you have the correct supplies to do so. So I have a list of everything that I think I need, but I will quickly find out what I forgot when I am trying to cook the products. So I am now on my way to get as much of this stuff as I can. Hopefully Costco has everything. If not, I think the next thing I'm going to do is buy everything online, probably on Amazon, but we will see. Well, unfortunately, Costco didn't have everything that I need. So I think what I'm going to do is try to find everything online. I have set up a Amazon for Business account. So hopefully I can find the rest of everything on Amazon. And with the Amazon Business, what's kind of cool is you get one day shipping as opposed to two day regular Prime shipping. It costs about the same as Prime. It's a few dollars more, but I think you do have to be a business. I had to provide business information to get that account. So I'm going to get on there and try to get the rest of the stuff I need. Hopefully it is here in a day or two and we'll go from there. Let's order the rest of the stuff on Amazon. I picked up two things that were not on the list at Costco, and those were the trash bags and a food thermometer. Here on Amazon, I'm getting some more stuff that's also not on the list, and that is a beard net, because I have a beard, and a chef's hat and sanitizer test strips. Um, at Restaurant Depot, my food supplier, that is where I'll buy the actual sanitizer. Other than that, all this stuff should be here in a day. That's the pretty cool thing about Amazon business. And what's even cooler than that is in video editing, I can just snap my fingers and it's the next day and everything's here. Just a moment ago when I said I want chess pieces on the labels because it's that big a deal in my life, uh, maybe I should give a little more context on that one. Um, if I ever have any downtime, which is rare, I find myself playing chess. I play all the time online and I even go to over the board chess tournaments. Um, I don't play video games, I don't do much anything else. So I wanted to include that somewhere on the label because thinking like way, way, way into the future, if I could sponsor chess tournaments or chess related events, I 
think that would be really cool, but I don't want to market these to just the chess community. I want to market my products to, you know, the masses. So I want it to be very, very subtle, like a very subtle touch. So I thought drawing that little chess pieces on top of the label might be cool, but I might come up with something else. We'll, uh, we'll see. I scanned my sketch and I sent it over to the graphic design artist. We did many revisions and in the end here, I got something that I'm really happy with. It's really close to what I had in my mind. The graphic design artist, she had a really great idea. She said, why not make the top two rings the top of different chess pieces? So every label will represent a different chess piece. I said, sounds great, send me a draft and let me take a look. So she sent me over a draft with the original being the king and I love it. Um, I think it's an awesome idea. It's very subtle. It doesn't get in the way of the rest of the label and I'm going to proceed with this and every additional label will have its own chess piece. So kudos to her for that one. Um, this is kind of all I can do for right now on the label. That is because the information in the white box is the legal information and I need to have my recipe down like all the ingredients and stuff because that goes in there. And I have to have all the weights and everything. So until that is completely set and product testing has been done, I can't really go too much further with this because once I have this label reviewed and approved, it's done. It's submitted and I can't, I can't change it without doing a whole nother label review and approval process. So that's where I am with this. I'm going to get something in the space, this little purple space here at the bottom of the label. I'm just not sure what yet, so I'm still thinking about it. And I'll see what I come up with. We started working on two more labels for two more breads, which are the plain banana bread and the walnut banana bread. I like where everything's going. Everything's coming together, and that really is kind of cool. But I need to give a shout-out to the graphic design artist. Her name is Camille, and I'm going to put her email here on the screen. And if any of you want to reach out to her, please do so because her prices are extremely reasonable and she's very easy to communicate with and as you can see here, it does a great job. So if you're looking for any graphic design work, I encourage you to reach out to her. One last supply that I bought, if you even want to call it a supply, are a couple of budget suits that I bought online. Uh, this suit right here is a three-piece suit and cost me like 79 bucks online. Um, budget is the way to go for me for right now. And I gotta say, I've, I've been wearing this around all day, kind of giving it a test. The reviews said that, you know, you can't really breathe in it, your skin doesn't breathe, and for 79 bucks, it breathes enough for me. Um, I, I like it. Uh, you know, if you're a suit guy, or if there are any suit guys out there, they'll probably tell you, yeah, this is not great, but I'm, I'm digging it. Um, so yeah, I picked up a couple of these and those were kind of my last supplies for now. I want to end this video with an introduction. I realized I didn't actually say who I am in any of these other videos. So my name is Keegan. Uh, I live in Las Vegas. I live with my roommate Rose, who is my cat. Rose, look at the camera, please. Hey, she kind of did it. Um, yeah, but I live in Las Vegas, uh, starting a little bakery trying a new adventure and for whatever reason today I'm just rocking the suit. Here's that label review you asked for boss.